Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Lindsay from First Line Equipment and today we're going to be making a cup of Nell Drip Coffee using our Hario Woodneck Glass Brewer. Rather than using a paper filter, it comes with a hoop that has a organic cotton flannel filter um, that's reusable. Um, that's where the Nell part of Nell Drip comes from. Uh, it comes on this little uh, hoop with a nice handle. The uh, box comes with a scoop too that has measurements for 8, 10, and 12 ounces of coffee. Um, but we're going to be weighing out our uh, ground uh, fatto bene coffee here at First Line. If you're opening up this for the first time, you'll want to uh, boil uh, your new cloth filter in hot water for about five minutes just to sanitize everything. Um, and then once you've rinsed it out completely, you want to take your uh, water and just hit it on the uh, filter. Just We're heating the vessel just to, when we brew the coffee, uh, draining anything out there. You want to do this step anytime that you're doing, uh, you're brewing a cup of this. So once that just runs through, you're going to empty out the water, put the hoop back on, and we're ready to get started brewing. So we're going to be using uh, 20 grams of freshly ground coffee. These pour right down into the filter. We're going to load this up onto our scale. I want to shake it out on the hoop just to even out the grounds just a little bit. We are going to take our kettle full of hot water. Uh, we brewed it up to boiling point and just let it cool off for a few minutes just so it's just off of boiling, about 200. Just saturate your grinds and let that, it's about 40 grams of water. And we're going to let this bloom, actually it's rising in the filter, it's really beautiful. We're going to let that bloom for uh, 30 seconds just to let the oils really uh, concentrate and pull through, degas all the carbon dioxide that's in there. This could be your little morning facial ritual to smell your coffee in the morning. What's nice about the cloth filter is that it actually allows the coffee to expand more and it expands with the coffee itself. Um, I find that the cloth filter really uh, has a neutral uh, taste when it comes to the coffee. It doesn't really pull any other flavor through. So you're really getting all of the flavors and oils from the filter itself. Now that we've let the coffee bloom a little bit, we're going to pour in our water using circular motions once again, trying not to really hit too much of the edges of the filter, but rather the coffee itself. We're going to be uh, adding about 300 grams of water. I'm going to let it get to about like 180, 200, let it pull through a little bit. So we're just about finished there. So you're going to remove your filter. You can just dump out your coffee into the garbage. I like to use some of the hot water um, just to kind of get that through. I sometimes invert it, pour it through this way. But then you can just rinse it off with your tap water. Remove it from the hoop. It slides off really, really easily. I might just give it another rinse just to really wring it through. And so to store this, you actually want to keep this damp. If you let it dry, then it actually distorts the filter um, and can let the, uh, you don't want any of the oils uh, from the coffee to get stuck um, and grow rancid inside of the filters. I like to use a Pyrex dish, a little tiny dish like this. It doesn't take too much room in my fridge. Uh, sometimes I put a little ice cube in there just to keep it cold and it keeps it nice and sealed. So now we have our cup of coffee waiting to get into a cup. So I'm going to grab a cup from here, pour it out. Oh, it smells so nice. So this coffee is just waiting to be enjoyed. So there you have it. Enjoy your Nell Drip coffee using the Hario Wednick uh, Brewer. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Lindsay with First Line and we'll catch you next time. Oh my god, it's such a good cup of coffee.